السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته جزاكم الله خيرا ولكم باك and as I inshallah mentioned in the last program this is a very very important program we have here Dr. Marwan who is a medical doctor at Ohio State University he's attendant and also founder of uh, Ask a Muslim and Islamic uh, senior Islamic scholar so my dear respected brothers and sisters in Islam today inshallah ta'ala let's listen from the expert uh, from the scholar and today inshallah the topic we'll, we will uh, going to touch is mental aspect is of drug abuse or drug addiction substance abuse inshallah ta'ala welcome back Zakallah khair how did it affect the brain let's say this and I have another question too inshallah ta'ala and how to overcome addiction and also a suicide Beautiful. those are two and I will ask you, inshallah ta'ala, about the Islamic aspects or uh, perspective. And jazakallah khair. What are those two questions? So let me kind of start with, so as far as, alhamdulillah, I and after we, we it's, it's very important for the, the people who are watching this program, is to kind of realize that when someone becomes a drug addict, yes, it's one of the, the, the prominent organs or um, uh, that is going to affect, is going to affect your brain, okay? But it's also going to affect other, other, other uh, 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 part of your body too. Like for instance, it would affect, I mean, you will see the individual have no appetite, they have headache, they have anxiety, they have high blood pressure. Sometimes they come in with heart attacks to the hospital. Sometimes they become, you know, it's a problem, it's problem for them to go to the bathroom, there is change of temperature. And, this, this, this is, and really this varies from one drug to another. I mean, the thing is, it's a, you know, if we're going to kind of uh, classify What's the effect of each of each each different drugs, and how and how does a person present once they're dependent? It's a, it's, a, it's a whole talk by itself. But here we're just talking about you know the 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 overall things that 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 is common among all people who are illicit drug users, and uh, be, beyond the fact that that the injuries that they, they would they would suffer, like whether from for instance from from needle injection, and that is one one of the most important things that. Uh, People come to the hospital, and this is something that is very drastic, as my dear brothers and sisters. Is people come in and where, where the, 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 they have infected themselves to the point that the the blood is uh, have bacteria, and they would have infection of their heart. Very, very this is this this is this is disastrous. I and mean, the thing is, like I said here, you know, the mental issues is there, but on top of all of that, you know, you have to stay in a hospital for six weeks, minimum getting IV antibiotics mm. and and this is this is this is this is I mean this is beyond when someone gets bone infection this is beyond when someone some sometimes sometimes people could uh, could uh, could you know lose their sight or something and sometimes the people could could have a sudden heart uh, sudden cardiac death so without this so it's important so and it, there is a lot of things that come, come come along with it and part of that is psych related uh, or 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 things that that is uh, associated with substance abuse and namely there are a few a lot of times people are, are more anxious they have anxiety disorders a lot of times people have depression you know um, and, and this is and sometimes I'm more pro, I'm, I'm pe these people are more prone to to suicide and why is that this is this is an, an a very important question and this is especially when we talk about the youth so what happened is our brain my dear respect brothers and sisters develop in that age, like when, 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 without without being exposed to drugs, this is when our brain tend, uh, is developing, the, the the period of our ad ad adolescence. So imagine, as you are, your brain is being developed, you are being introduced to, the, to these drugs that mess up the the, the hormonal system, the the the, the, the way your ner nerve is working, and so a lot of times people have these problems, these psychiatric disorders because of that. And a lot of times people, this, a lot of times these mental aspects would stay with them for the rest of their life. Why? Because as the brain is developing in this area, it have external factors that is interrupting it. And this is extremely important. So it's not, this, is, this is definitely, my dear respect, this is absolutely, it's not a joke. Because this is nothing, nothing, nothing like a lot of times, oh, well, I'm going to overcome it. You know, one time I become, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be okay and I'll, I'll stop everything. No, a lot of times this, this, this is not as, as simple as that. So 
all drugs, you know, like for instance, we hear what about like especially nicotine and cocaine, you know, and marijuana, they affect the brain and they affect a circuit called the reward circuit, which is part of the limbic system, or part of a system, a nervous system within our, within our brain. So what does drugs do? They hijack this reward system, cause, causing it to, uh, uh, to usually have large amount of dopamine to flood into our system. And dopamine is like, a, it's like a, the reward uh, 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 hormone that is being ex excreted. So when you have a lot of this dopamine within your brain, you know, it, it causes this, you know, the, the feeling of being high, you know, or what do we call it, euphoria, you know. And, and, with this, and this, this, is, this is what associated with drug abuse. Every time someone uses drugs, what happens? They become, they're looking for this, this buzz, you know, this high, you know. And, and what happened is there, a lot of dopamine is being excreted and they, they wanted to, to, to feel this more often. And that's what really messes up in this. In this uh, Allah, that's good. Okay, uh, people who are watching us, as, as I mentioned, we have a, this is a very, very important program, especially parents and those who are responsible and guardians. We have to just uh, very uh, careful about how our kids are behaving, who are they hanging out with, where they go into, what their, how their behavior is changed, and also the way they dress sometimes, you know, uh, you can see like someone else is just investing into them. So, inshallah, let's come into the Islamic perspective. And there are some call like uh, something called in Islam, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends down the Sharia, mm -hmm. there's a maqasid al Sharia. Yes, yes, yes. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have, you know, ordered us to maintain the well being of this, the life, your health, mm -hmm. your, uh, you know, nasl, all kind of stuff. So, what is the uh, Islamic perspective on uh, uh, keeping your mouth, I mean, uh, mental health? You know, in a good, uh, I mean, uh, if you have another better way that put it, inshallah ta'ala, jazakallah khair. So the thing is, subhanAllah, Allah, you know, part of the, the way we, we believe as Muslims is the fact that we, we, we just like it's uh, Islam in itself, my dear respect, it's not, it's not just came to, to uh, show us how to pray. It, 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 it encouraged us to, have, make, to make sure that we have, have a healthy body, a healthy, a healthy brain, and a, and and to become functional in the society. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, when he when he mentioned when in the beginning of Surah Taha, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said, Taha, ma anzalna alayk al Qur'ana li tashqa. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, he he have not revealed this Quran to us, so we, so, so we could we have a disastrous life, you know. Um, وَمَنْ أَعْرَضَ عَنْ ذِكْرِي فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشَةً ضَنْكَ. And, and whoever 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 uh, uh, tried to leave. The dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he, he, have, he have a disastrous life. And, that's, um, and I come, my dear respect brothers, I come from the school that I, I believe that person who is a person who is an abidant, true abidant to Islam, they should not have any psychiatric problems. I, I mean, yes, there is sometimes, you know, people are genetically have, you know, abnormal levels of dopamine and, and that's why they, they tend to have like all these you know, psychiatric problems, you know, depression, etc., anxiety. Yes, there is, this is, there is a, possibly, you know, more, certain people more prone than others. But in the same token, mm -hmm. our deen is, you know, it, 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 one of the most important aspects of it, it encourages us to have a healthy way of thinking, a healthy body. And that's why one of the most, you know, as you mentioned, Sheikh, is the fact that one of the, you know, the most important, you know, maqasid of, of sharia, uh, the, 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 the Islamic ruling or the Islamic law is what is al-aql that you know, we have to make sure that we have sanity you know and and, the, and preservation the preservation of the soul and this is the, and, 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 and preservation of the, of the body you know so this is very important that we and that's why Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have forbade for us to to, to be to be uh, introduced to any sort of intoxicants because once someone is intoxicated they, they have no they have no free will. They're, they're, they have no control over their body. They cannot, they cannot um, uh, they make their own, their own decisions. And this is extremely important. And, 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 the people, and the people from the outside easily manipulate them. And, and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, yani, when he for, forbade us, yani, and he have cursed those who are carriers, the sellers, the, the buyers, the, the handlers of alcohol. Why? Because of, because and because all these all these people yeah, yeah all the, all these people are contributing to to, to, the, to the same 
problem. And watch that, you know, they are, they are helping destroying a family. They're helping destroying an individual. They're helping destroying possibly a society. And, 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 and my dear respect, brothers, this is, this is very important. And, and maybe many people, and even, even the average American, they need to re realize this. If alcohol was abandoned, if outlawed in America, they say that 40% of all admissions in America is going to go. You, like, literally, you're gonna, we have problem now with how full is our hospitals. Imagine if we, and this was not the new, I mean, by the way, in the 1900s, early 1900s in America, they made it, they, they, made it, they, they enacted a law that it would, it, they, they for, forbade selling alcohol. And this is something that we have to have, yeah, and, and so this is, this is very important. Why? Because they know the disastrous effect in the brain. So, and, 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 and Islam, my dear respect brothers, does not, does not uh, it goes along the fitrah of the, of, of the human being. It does not really invent something in you. There is a relationship between the heart and the body and the soul and the brain. And, and, and Islam, 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 my dear respect brothers and brother, sisters, he ha have, have arranged this and tell you, you know what? Just like the fact that you have to take care of your body to cleanse it, to make sure that you, 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 you eat well and behave well, there are certain things that you have to do in order for us to, to, to have a healthy brain. My last question, Dr. Marwan, is that uh, what are the role of the masjid to promote this, um, the healthy perspective or functionality of the mental for our youth especially? And also, as well as the Islamic organizations, as well as Ask a Muslim, what are you guys doing uh, to help these uh, the young folks to change their perspective, to change their, the way they are thinking about it? So it's important, my dear respect, brothers and sisters, that as Muslims, that we are part of the society. And we have to make sure that we are active members that help the community to make sure that we are we over, overcoming this pandemic. And like I said, we are, we are part of this part of this society we are we are we should be active in trying to promote um, uh, the what is what is good for for our uh, adolescents what is good to make sure that the families are united and what is good for us for, to establish uh, a peaceful uh, healthy family that are existing in in, in 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 each and every corner of this society it's extremely important as and as you know to, to kind of start with this is it's important for for imams, and it's important for parents, and it's important for uh, uh, religious leaders for them to know how to recognize these things, you know. And especially here, we're talking about because here, here, when someone is is being, when they're when they're a drug addict or they're they're abuser, there are certain risk factors or there are certain uh, characteristics that these people tend to have themselves. Uh, they, 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 have, they, they, there's, they, they, they end up doing. Like for instance, you will see. For instance, the person is being, uh, they have poor performance in their work. Um, um, they're being rejected by the family. Sometimes these people who are being bullied. You know, they have financial problems. They have no social support. Um, they feel shame and they feel humility. So that when someone, like as a, as a leader, when someone sees someone that have the, he, these set of the characteristics, it is important for him to, the, to, uh, to recognize this thing. And as and I say, there's a mnemonic, and I'm going to say, uh, it's like what, what is considered to be the signs? You know, this is signs that someone is in danger. So there's a mnemonic, they call it, is path warm? So I'm going to, and I S. P A T H W A R M. So this is like kind of the, the mnemonic, and I want people to kind of just bear with me to see what is, what kind of things that we need to recognize. We have to because as you know, not before we treat and, and, and intervene, we have to make sure that we, we know like what is the signs and symptoms as leaders and as 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 people who are prominent within within the community. We have to make sure that how to recognize this problem. So number one is that people you start people you see people being despair. They have some sort of like ideation, maybe like they have suicide ideation. They're thinking, what is the point of life? What is, why should be I here, and et cetera. You see them involved in substance abuse. You know, they're, they're missing work. They're having marks within, within their arm. You know, they feel a uh, purposeless, meaning that they, they feel like, oh, what's the, what, why, why I'm here? There is no point, why religion, et cetera. You see them, A for anxiety. Uh, they're, they're anxious, they're you know, mutawatirin, you, know, they're not, they're, you, you see them agitated, they're having nightmares, they're trapped, they're feeling that there is no 
They can't get themselves out of trouble, you know. Uh, they, they feel hopelessness. They have no hope. They feel withdrawal from the community. They are isolated. And these the people, this is, the, this is one, the, the most important thing. When someone not coming to the masjid, when someone is not attending your church, when someone is not, you're seeing, you're having a family and a dinner, or somebody is, 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 is absent, this is issue, this, you ha, this is the, the most important signs that you have to recognize. When someone is being too much angry, when, when they're being cornered, you know, they're feeling because they have no controlled anger. It's important. Someone is, is reckless, meaning that they have, they do things without thinking of consequences. You know? And also mood changes. This is the last letter, mood. They're, they're, they, it, sometimes they're uh, sad, happy, uh, 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 angry, is sad. You know, it's, it's all over. They're, they're, they're all over the place. When someone sees these things, now it's time for me to intervene. It's fun for me to recognize the problem. It's fun for, It's important for me to recognize this. And we, why we do this? As, because thing is, you know, and, uh, 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 as Muslims, we should be, be, be able to you know, uh, part of uh, being a Muslim, we look after the youth. We want to make sure that the youth is healthy. We want to make sure the youth is, not, is being educated, not necessarily about the religion, but also how to be to deal with the outside world and make sure that once they're exposed, they're immune against all of these all of these toxins. Because if they're not have they don't have well they're not well educated, they're 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 more prone to falling into this. And the last thing is, when someone. You know, the, the, the quick thing to, 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 to assume, when someone is having a problem, they say uh, uh, you, ha you have, the way you work with it is by A, C, E, okay? You ask, A, you care, C, and you escort. What does it mean? So you ask, you tell them, you know, what's going on with you? Be, 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 show, show yourself, be, you know, you know, ask him question. You know what's going on? What happened? Why you're like this? What's going on? So you ask, and 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 a lot of people, these people, you know, they they, they feel withdrawn from from the community because no one is caring about them. So when you ask, you show them that you are caring. You show them that you you want to be part of their problem. You show them that you you know you're willing to help them. And caring is important, but important because these people have no one to listen to. They want to discuss this issue with some individual, but no one is stepping forward for them to be part of their life. And that's and, and what happened is that you you know you you, you listen, you discuss, um, you check on them, but um, it's important that you don't judge them. You, you know, don't. It, it, but you could you know you you could encourage them to, but you don't judge them. Tell them how dare you do this? No, no, no. The point of you asking and, and be caring is for you not to judge. You know, because then they cannot handle you judging them and you punishing them. No. These people are very fragile. This is the part where you take care of them. Tell them, hey, I'm going to help you. We're going to go through this. You encourage them. And last thing is you escort them. How? Whether, whether it's through psychological rehab, whether it's, you know, whether, whether it's, 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 it's through you know, calling 911, whether it, whether it was seeing their psychiatric, or, 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 or possibly you know, an imam or someone who is an expert in this field to be able to, to take care of them with the night on. Jazakallah khair. Uh, that, inshallah, ta'ala concludes our program today. And hopefully, inshallah, the doctor, we will have him in some other, inshallah, ta'ala, future time. We were very fortunate, and it's, our, it's a very good opportunity to have him to talk about the uh, mental health and drug abuse, especially someone who is expert, someone who works at the uh, 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 hospital day in, day out, someone who is also an Islamic scholar. MashaAllah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward him his time. Uh, we will have him, inshallah, ta'ala in future, many, many times. Jazakallah khairan. And also, the brothers and sisters who are watching us, inshallah, ta'ala, until we meet next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.